Welcome to Reading and Returnings Using Libby. In the last video, we looked at book categories. We are going to open the app from our home screen and scroll down to view the Just Added Books category. This time, we will check out In Search of the Color Purple by selecting it. If we click directly on the cover, it will be the details screen where we can borrow it. From there, it takes us to a checkout screen, which is the second image in the center. You can also scroll through to select a title and press borrow on the side. After you have borrowed the book, it will automatically begin to download if you are on a Wi-Fi network. Libby is set up to avoid eating your phone data so that it downloads only on a Wi-Fi connection. Once it has downloaded, you will see a gray check mark in the small circle to the left of the book cover. It will then give you the options to read the book through Kindle, which will take you to the Amazon page, or through Libby itself on your device. For this tutorial, I'm going to focus on reading through Libby. The book will pop up with two tool screen, one that you are already familiar with, which contains the library and the shelf icons. And if we tap the center of the page, the personalization toolbar should appear on the page. As we can see, there is an option in the top left going back towards the left, which takes you back to the library. In the middle is a magnifying glass, which allows you to search for whatever you'd like in the book and go directly there by clicking one of the links. Let's go back to the book by clicking in the middle of the text to pull up the toolbar and select the back option in the top left hand corner. It should take me back to the loans page where we can reopen the book. One great feature of Libby is that it will pick up right where we left off. However, if we would like to get to a specific chapter in the book, we will tap the middle to pull up the menu and click the Chapters button in the center of the bottom navigation bar. This pulls up a Chapters menu, and we can select a chapter and go to it by clicking on it. If you would like to personalize your reading style with a particular background, font, or text size, please select the large A in the right corner menu. To increase text size, drag the box on further up or down the text scale line. Lighting changes the background shade from bright, white with black text, to sepia, cream colored with black text, to night, black with white text. You can select a custom font under the book design menu, which includes several default fonts as well as common fonts, custom, and open dyslexic. Once you've chosen your reading settings, tap the center of the book's page and they should be applied. The icon next to the magnifying glass is the bookmark, which works just like a physical bookmark since all it does is keep your place. However, you can bookmark more than one place at a time. Say we've finished in search of the color purple and would like to return it. All you have to do is go back to your shelf. When it says manage loans, we are going to tap to select it and Libby will pop up a box menu that gives us the option to return early. Doing this lets you check out more books and it also gives another person the chance to read it. Thank you for watching this tutorial on how to use Libby for reading and returning ebooks.